Hey, welcome back everyone for some more Mega Man 4 for the NES. Last time we took on Jewel Man and defeated him and got his Jewel Bomb. Now we're gonna take on an infamous uh, Robot Master, which is Toad Man. Now he's infamous because of how ridiculously easy he is, but... I personally find his stage to be much more challenging, and... I hope you guys like uh, Rush Jet because I'm gonna be using them quite a bit here, so... But until then, I'm gonna stick with my Pharaoh shot here. Now here's a particularly interesting stage gimmick here, is this rain. It makes it kind of difficult to... Uh, well, I can't say difficult, but... It's a bit weirder, especially because of the... Uh, it's almost like wind physics here that you have to deal with. Okay. And because of that, I don't feel... I don't trust my jumping, so I'm gonna switch to Rush Jet here. Aw, oh, come on, Rush. <laughs> Be a good boy. Yeah, I don't consider myself a strong jumper, so I think I'm just gonna play it safe here and just rush jet throughout this entire first part of the level here. And I'm gonna switch back to Pharaoh shot. Ooh, that was close! <laughs> this water can be pretty much the same thing. Instead of pushing against you, it kind of pushes you towards these, uh voids right here, which you, you really have to be careful here. Shouldn't be too bad as long as you know what you're doing. I don't think it's nearly as bad as what the first section was for that rain. Of course, you gotta watch out you don't fall in the pits. Now for a mini boss here, which is this giant snail type thing. And this thing is easy with the feral shot because all you really need to do is just aim upwards at its eyes and then should be defeated here pretty soon. There we go. As you probably figured, you have to face off against another one here, which should be coming up here shortly. Of course, these robotic rats can be irritating too. Alright, speak of the devil, here's the second one right here. Of course, the water is trying to push you into the pit, so you got to make sure you not only fight against that, but make sure you keep up with inflicting damage on this snail here. Yeah, I just find it uh, much easier to deal with that thing when using the Pharaoh shot. Oh, come on, Rush! <laughs> Looks like someone's not gonna get doggy treats today. Yeah, I'm kind of having issues with Rush Jet, I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, I don't... Again, I don't trust my jumping here, so... Of course, I almost got hit by that fish there. Figure I just Rush Jet through this area and... Switch to my Mega Buster here and... Just wait till you see just how easy Toad Man is, if you're not already familiar with how easy he is. Jump here. As you can see, if you just keep on shooting, which... Gotta make sure you don't run into him, but... As long as you keep hitting him when he jumps to the other side, he d he will just keep on jumping back and forth like this... ...until he's defeated. Oh, come on! <laughs> but yeah, this... ...is a ridiculous fight. I think they could have done a better job with the AI on here, but... If you're a person trying to take on this thing, hey, I'm pretty sure you're not going to complain, and, uh... I, I wish I could say that the weapon you get from this guy is good because of it, but it really isn't. I'm not a big fan of Rain Flush at all, even though it is a, we it is a, sc a screen clearing weapon, but... I've seen much better screen clearing weapons than the Rain Flush, and I just particularly don't like it personally. And you also get another Rush Adapter, which in this case is the Rush Marine, which... I think I'm only going to use like once, maybe twice throughout this entire playthrough, so... But yeah, thank you guys for watching this, and I will see you guys again next time.